morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Hope you're having a great day or night. Today's video, I'll show you some stuff I sold on eBay, Amazon, and Etsy. Along with that, I'll be staying busy, working on my garage, listing items, just uh, just trying to do the stuff that we do uh, to make a living, that's for sure. So uh, stay tuned with me, guys, here. Let's see what we do today. Okay, let's dive into what I sold today. First order is from Etsy. This is a 1990s Albuquerque Dukes minor league baseball. New era hat here, as you got to see there, there's the minor league baseball logo on it. It's got some wear on the inside. It's the uh, New Era Pro model hat here. Real nice hat. There is some bleeding on the logo. Again, I described that and the wear on the inside of the hat. And uh, this came in a storage unit that I purchased. And uh, total out the door shipped on Etsy is 35 bucks for this hat. Good money in hats. Set that aside. Uh, next, we're moving on to is eBay. Uh, here's a brand, Bugacci Yomo. Um, Never really had good luck with these shirts. Obviously, the more wild they are, the uh, more money they'll bring. But this is just a plain old orange short sleeve, like camp casual, size large, extra large. Had this for about three months on eBay. Paid a dollar for it at the thrift store and ended up selling for $16.20 plus $4.25 shipping for a grand total of $20.45. Set that over there. Next one here came out of this thrift store as well. And... Um, Picked these up a while back, and they just sat in a bin, to be honest with you, for a good probably eight months. But these are men's Dickies twill jean five-pocket casual work navy uniform pants. Brand new. We have the tags and everything on them. And uh, 44 by 30. Uh, I, I think I had these for $20 plus shipping, and somebody offered me a best offer, so I took it. It was $10 plus $7 shipping, so for a total of $17 for these pants here. But those literally sold within a, uh, three or four days on eBay when I listed them uh, this this week. And the last eBay item I have here is a men's affliction t-shirt. Got the nice, I don't know if you can see that, like green rope around the shoulders and the arms. Pretty cool shirt, just a plain old graphic shirt, really. And um, he's got the distress thing. You know, if you ever see affliction, you'll notice, I don't know if you can see it right there, but like the collars are usually torn up and stuff like that, the bottoms of the shirt. That's typical if you see it. So don't think, oh my God, it's beat up. That's just how they come. But Affliction Standard LTD 73 Men's Distress uh, Graphic T-Shirt Size 2XL. Listed this yesterday afternoon. Literally sold in like literally two minutes for a total of $15 shipped. Literally paid a dollar for that. Uh, moving on to Amazon. Got this. This came out of the recent storage unit. It's an Up in Smoke Cheech and Chong. <laughs> Good movie there. Uh, VHS tape. Nothing crazy to it. And uh, got out of that storage unit. I don't know what the cost I have in that at the moment are. But it sold for $5.59 shipped. Merchant filled on Amazon. And the last order for today, let's see, what is this? It's a Violent LP record. It's a Martin Briley One Night with a Stranger. It's brand new, it's sealed. Had this on Etsy as well, but it did sell on uh, Amazon. And this sold for $35.94 shipped. Merchant filled on Amazon. So I'm gonna pack this up, guys, and we'll stay busy the rest of the day. So here I've just got a couple blazers that I need to go through. Just really kind of trying to purge some of this clothing from my garage. Here's another stack of clothing that I'll be listing today. Nothing crazy in here at all. Just um, some stuff that's over $20. Uh, all the way up to maybe $40, $50. Here's my last box of blazers. And um, I don't know if you guys remember, I had three high here. That's how many I've gone through with uh, blazers and jackets. So uh, making some progress here in the garage. And uh, just going to keep moving forward, that's for sure. Got a question here from uh, Peter Bocek. Hello, Mike. Another informative and to-the-point video. In the beginning of this video, you showed a view of your spreadsheet. May I ask which software you use for this purpose? Please keep up the great videos. Thanks, Peter. Appreciate you taking the time to comment, as long with, along with everybody else that's out there that's commenting the videos. Super appreciate it. It's fun to read some of the comments. Uh, to answer your question, Peter, it's basically a Google Doc, you know, and um, that particular one was for my wholesale account on eBay that well, I'm showing you guys all these items that are selling. And pretty much I'm just tracking costs, tracking time, uh, how long does it take an item to sell? You know, uh, what is the average price? You know, I'm getting on this typical eBay account, uh, breaking down the shipping fees, the eBay fees, just putting all the details in there, uh, along with you know where I'm sourcing the stuff from, and it's a good way to kind of keep track of it. You know, there, there's plenty of inventory software out there you can use that uh, you know you can pay monthly on and stuff like that. It's a lot more detailed, but I'm one of those old school guys. I mean, I still use QuickBooks and I still use Excel spreadsheets. So, uh, but it's cool to have because you know I can have it on my phone. I can, I can have it on my computer, you know, it's, it's in that cloud 
area there in, in the, the real world out there, right? But um, yeah, it's very easy to do. Just throw some stuff out there and just kind of track it, you know, um, every day track it, put your numbers in there, you know, and, uh, you know, over time you'll start to realize what things are selling for you, what things aren't selling for you, where there's no, if you're selling things for like eight, nine bucks and there's no, there's no money in it, you'll see it. Um, it's just kind of an informative way to keep track of your, your expenses and your costs and, and your business really. So if you guys don't have one of these uh, fabric diffusers, these things really work amazing. You can pick them up on Amazon for, I think, under 15 or 20 bucks. But the uh, sweater I showed you guys here before, this is that, uh, that cool brand. And uh, just had some, had some issues to it there. And we're just going to work on it with this uh, device and get it all freaking nice and clean. Yeah, as you can see, all this pilling right here just coming up. Let's just see if we can get any of that off. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Look at that. Pretty much comes right off with this device. Amazing. So if you don't have one of these, definitely look at getting one. Not too shabby. It's the little things like this that uh, makes a difference when you're when you're flipping stuff, that's for sure. One little stack done we'll uh list these and uh hopefully some of the stuff sells quick for us all right all done listing them come on ebay sales let's get the cha-chings so i got these true religion jeans here and uh, i was getting ready to list them i just noticed there was a oh uh, rippage <laughs> so my question for you guys leave a comment down below would you bother stitching these up and selling them or would you just pitch them leave a comment down below time to start working on the good old blazers. So I wanted to give you guys an update on what my garage is looking like these days. I don't think I've made a video about it. it doesn't look like there's much progress done, but the stuff has been moved over, stuff has been sold. Uh, slowly getting there, guys, slowly getting there. But this weekend, I think I'm gonna start hammering stuff out, making it happen. Especially since sales are slow on eBay with, uh, with what I'm selling with the clothing and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just gonna put myself on a, on a spending freeze until I can go through here, because it's really one of my priorities to get this stuff out of here. And I know I keep saying that, but I've got to get it out because I've got some plans of bringing in some other inventory in here that's going to take up some space. And uh, this, I just need the space. I need the space, peoples. <laughs> so if you're experiencing slow sales on eBay or they're just not up to par what you're accustomed to, don't freak out. This will happen. It's this time of year where you know people are getting their credit card statements that are coming through. And uh, they're, they're paying their bills off, this, this, that. Plus, we got tax season coming around the corner. Um, eBay's going to be full hopping pretty soon. Don't get discouraged. Just, you know, just stick to your game plan. Just keep listening and keep moving forward. And it'll all work out at the end of the day, you know. That's, that's the way I've always looked at reselling is if I keep putting the time and the effort into it, the sales will come. So, you know, just have a positive mental attitude with the whole thing. And, and you know, the sales will start trickling in. Uh, but don't don't think you know it's the, uh, the end of the Titanic here, right? And uh, it's it's all dead. It will pick up. You know, trust me. So I'm gonna take the rest of the day here and just be productive. Keep listing these blazers, taking photographs, measuring them, just uh, just trying to knock out as much stuff as I can. Hopefully you're out there and uh, you know you're staying busy as well. Keep listing and just keep pushing forward. You know that, that's all reselling really is. is just keep listing items over and over and over. You sell some, you ship some, you you list some, right? It's just a, it's a repetitive uh, thing, but it's a great lifestyle because you can kind of work at your own pace and you don't have to work nine hours a day. You can, you know, you can sporadically use your time any way you want to fit. You know, you could be listening at two in the morning, you know, whatever really works for you and your business. But uh, again, I want to thank all of you guys for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing to my channel here. It really means a lot to me. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, please hit the thumbs up button. It means a lot. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace. Vlog over.